Hello my friends how are you today i am going to teach you the way of doing area calculation as a combination of both trapezoidal rule and the simpson rule i think uh, you can remember i taught you the way of doing area calculation using trapezoidal rule in one of my previous videos if you don't know the way of doing area calculation using the trapezoidal rule you have to go to that video and you have to study that otherwise you will not able to understand the thing which i am telling here and also i taught you the way of doing area calculation using simpson's rule too if you don't know the way of dealing with simpson rule you must go to that previous video and you have to thorough with that I will put the link of those videos in the description area. Today I will teach you the way of dealing with both trapezoidal rule and the Simpson rule in the same question. Then we will go to today lesson. Here you can see the corresponding equation of trapezoidal rule i think uh, you can understand what i am telling here this h is the height of one ordinate and this width is the width of one ordinate if you need to apply trapezoidal rule each and every interval must be same otherwise you will not be able to deal with the trapezoidal rule i am telling again you have to go to my trapezoidal rule specific video to get the exact knowledge of the trapezoidal rule and here you can see the corresponding equation of simpson rule here the most important thing is even number of strips must be available the strip must be even number otherwise you can't use this simpson rule today my aim is to teach you the way of dealing with both trapezoidal and simpson rule together in the same problem so i will let you know the way of doing that this is my problem according to the field data the area enclosed by a survey line a curved boundary and two n ordinates are mentioned below here you can see the corresponding situation here now what should be done first of all we need to identify the corresponding intervals in this situation to make that easy i will use this type of a list then i will show you the corresponding intervals one interval is here you can see in this one what is the gap of these two ordinates that is 20 meter here to here 20 meter 20 meter 20 meter 20 meter and you can see there are four intervals here you can see one then two three and four then what should be done then we have to identify the next it should be like this here to there one two and three what is the gap between two ordinates that is 30 here to here 30 then 30 and 30 then you can see another one is available here then we will enclose it here to here what is the distance what is the gap that is 40 meter okay then what should be done then we need to identify what is the best method we are using to calculate the area of these regions we have to use trapezoidal rule and also simpson rule we can use both but what are the boundaries if you need to use simpson rule even number of intervals must be available because of that for first set you have to use simpson rule you can see even number is available that is 4 then to second set you can use trapezoidal rule for the third set again you can use simpson rule then we will go and see how to do the calculation i will uh, show the regions again Here you can see three regions are available first of all i will calculate the area within the chain edge range of 0 to 80 what is the equation that is simpson rule here you can see i have used a simpson rule and the final answer is 2246.33 square meter then what should be done 
then you have to go to the area within the chain edge of 80 to 170 it would be like that what is the equation you have to use you have to use the trapezoidal rule here you can see the way of dealing with trapezoidal rule between 80 and 170 chain edge then we have another set it is very simple you know we have to use simpson rule and our interval is 40 meter then simpson rule equation will be like that then what should be done then we have to get the sum of these three answers it would be like that then what is our final answer the area within the chain edge of 0 to 80 is 2246.33 and from 80 to 170 that is 2563.65 then from 170 to 250 that is 1405.6 square meter then what is the total area that is the sum of these three it would be 6000 215.58 square meter that is very easy here you can see i have used both simpson rule and trapezoidal rule then uh, i think you will have another problem some of uh, you have mentioned that in the comment section also you have inquired me what to do when the intervals are not similar what to do actually in the real world we don't need to worry about that we are the people who are defined in the interval. In that case, we can easily go to a similar interval set. But in exam, examiners, the people who are setting the paper can give you such troublesome questions. Then we will go to such a question. It would be like that. Here you can see, here to here, interval is 20. But here to here, interval is 30. But here to here, interval is 40. Again, another number and so many troublesome thing then what should be done first of all we need to identify the regions it would be like that here that is 20 meter interval here 30 meter interval this is 40 meter interval and here 10 meter interval and here to here that is 20 meter interval and also here to here that is 40 meter interval then what should be done then we have to select what is the equation we are using here? It can be either trapezoidal rule or Simpson rule. Actually, this is also a combination of trapezoidal rule and the Simpson rule. You can work this yourself. If you are having any issue, you can make me aware. Then, I think you have got the thing I taught today. If you are having any issue, please make me aware. I will do my best to make you rich with knowledge. Then we will meet with another video as soon as possible. If you are a newcomer to my channel, you can subscribe my channel and you can share these contents among your friends and in the social media to make others knowledgeable. Then we will meet with another video as soon as possible. I am Madhujit Sagar.